In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We oftentimes might hear, or even ourselves give, some words of encouragement that go along the lines of, if you put your mind to something, you can do anything you want. Or if you truly believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything. These words we might hear from a motivational speaker in a movie or something we might have heard from our parents of words of encouragement and motivation. And we oftentimes forget that these words that are so powerful and so true, that if we truly want to do something, all we have to do is believe in ourselves, and we can do it. And we forget that these words first came from Jesus Christ Himself. That in today's Gospel reading, there was a man who brought him his son who was possessed by demons. And there was no cure. But Christ said, if you believe, anything is possible. Anything. And he, of course, being the savior of mankind, was able to rid this father's son from all of the demons that troubled him. And this gospel reading should remind us that whether or not we believe it, there are many demons that trouble us as well. There are many demons that prohibit us from doing those things in which we are meant to do. Those things that God wants us to do. And the church, through the Gospels, give us this message of Jesus Christ that not only if we believe in something, we can do it, but it also shares with us a glimpse of our broken reality. Of our reality that, yes, we might want to believe with our minds and our hearts, that we can truly accomplish whatever it is that has our goals, there is disbelief within our hearts. There is that voice inside of us that also is telling us we cannot do that. These are the demons that we face. And one of the most powerful messages that I personally find throughout all of Scripture is the response of this father who says, I believe, Lord. Help my disbelief. Now, why do the evangelists include this in this parable, in this story of Jesus Christ in the Scriptures? Why does it not end with Christ saying, you can do anything you want. You can accomplish anything with faith. Because the church, we forget sometimes, is a hospital. The church is a time and a place for us who are broken, who have, short, who have shortcomings, to realize that we cannot do this alone that we can believe in ourselves as much as possible, but there comes a point where we also need Christ. There comes a time in our lives where we might believe in ourselves, but we are not fully capable of believing in ourselves with such conviction that we truly can accomplish anything without the help of God. And this is why this phrase... I believe, Lord, 
help my disbelief is so important. Because we truly can accomplish anything as Orthodox Christian people of God. We can help anyone in need. We can be the best parent or godparent or the best student or colleague that we can possibly be if we believe in ourselves, but only with that belief of Jesus Christ that we acknowledge that we are broken and we need His help and guidance as well. And when Christ asked the Father, how long has He had this ailment? The response was from childhood. And how true is it that all of us, with our shortcomings and struggles, have encountered these struggles since our childhood? that those shortcomings in which we have is something we've always been dealing with for all of our life. This is so important for us to realize, especially in this scripture, that God is not there with us today, but since our childhood, He is there for us. In our adulthood, He will always be there for us. In the past, in the present, and always. God is there to encourage us, to strengthen us, and to help us with this disbelief that in our struggles to live an Orthodox Christian life, that we may have disbelief in ourselves or even in our own faith, that we might have disbelief in our God when we encounter these struggles and we might ask ourselves, God, where are you? I feel alone that in these times of our lives that we might not only call upon this scripture reading, that we may have within our hearts belief, but also that opportunity to call upon Christ, to ask for Him to help us with our disbelief. When we face the crisis, when we struggle with our demons, what do we say? How will we respond? Lord, I believe. Help me with my disbelief. Amen.